Good morning, folks. Today we're looking at small solar flares standing out amidst a meager crowd, solar wind telemetry, the next earthquake uptick, the potential loss of a satellite, and the latest from suspiciousobservers.org. This view here is just a little FYI about the size of the massive plasma structure. It will not fit in your garage. Anyway, spaceweathernews.com gives us a look at the last day on our star, and what do we see? As our eyes want to focus on the massive backwards C-shaped filament, two pops steal our eyes to the south and back east to the left. These were smaller filament structures peripheral to the big one. Much of the particles didn't leave the corona. But that can't be said for the northwestern limb, departing. Small C flare, still nothing major, but more than we've been getting. Earth facing quiet, shut that guy down for two weeks. The moment he gets away from us, he's partying like crazy. I wonder if he felt stifled during our relationship. Anyway, the lone sunspot remaining isn't doing much. No signs of growth or development. Solar wind has developed, though. Weak coronal hole stream from the northern opening, barely even causing geomagnetic disruptions a full day into its stream. Not very fast. It's unlikely to be a significant event. However, that green positive northern coronal hole is departing, and the powerful southern opening swings in in red. It is difficult to tell exactly where the line is when we come back to SDO because of proximity, but suffice to say that the earthquakes are going to go back up soon, so are the geomagnetic conditions. Top quake of the last day actually did hit magnitude 6 on multiple readers, USGS settling slightly lower. We had two above average in the Gulf of California, somewhat rare and indicative of uptick. Folks, the big news today is Hitomi, the banner Japanese X-ray satellite that is supposed to make us better understand the X-ray spectrum of our universe. It was only launched one month ago, was going through normal setup and checks, but contact was lost and U.S. debris detection teams believe there may have been an impact or breakup of the device, although only partial. We'll have ears to the ground for updates on this important satellite. Also, folks, if you haven't heard, these are likely to be the last throws of El Nino, for a while at least, here as the patterns are shifting fast. The ENSO multivariate index is on a warpath towards a La Nina event, actually. It's all detailed in the latest episode of Deeper Look from SuspiciousObservers.org. Of course, we had a new Fly on the Wall podcast this weekend, too, so there's lots to see. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.